Hello everyone, how are you all going? Have a guess where we are. This happens to be in most of my videos lately. Hey girl, remember this shot from such videos as Hey, we are going back to Thornton. Hey, where we're at Thornton. Thornton fishing. Thornton catch and cook. Well, here we are, we're down at Rivermouth. We've had heaps of rain. The river's dirty. The mouth's probably dirty as well. But I've been hanging out for a fish for the last three days. I'm coming down for a look. I'm not sure what's, how's it going to be, but definitely not a day for spinners. It'll be a bait day. So we're going to see how we get on today. I'm going to come for a look anyway and check it out before it gets too busy. It doesn't look that dirty at all, the river. Only thing that I'm worried about is probably heaps of weed. Get out of weed on your line. That's all I'm worried about. Well, I'm not worried about it really, but... I'm just looking on the ground for uh, big clumps of weed and I might find some free sinkers in there. So over here, I just gotta try and get it over. There's a sandbar right in front of me. The sandbar right out there, where I normally fish from at low tide. Just gotta try and cast over that sandbar and into the, hopefully with the fisher. So a few followers here today. Might have a cast here, guys. I'll check this place out. Oh, look at that. Got a big camel toe. Oh really, it must make up some more traces. Bloody people everywhere. Leave me alone, man. Mine's been in the water for about oh, maybe 10 minutes at the most. Look at it. Big lump of bloody weed. So, that is not a good sign to hang around here. Look at that. How do you catch fish with the bloody weed on your line? See? Too much weed, man. Not good at all. And we might come back tomorrow. Because that is not how I like to catch fish. There's some guy over here, he's in the water, he's casting on top of the sandbar with a spinner getting nothing. I want to film him but no, I don't like make fun of people that at least he's out here giving it a go but I've got no idea what he's doing. I told him walk out on the sandbar and cast out there but he's in the water there, he's casting on top of the sandbar which is only about half a foot deep. It's better getting out there and then casting into the deeper water. Oh well. As long as he's having fun. See ya bro! Have a good day, eh? Thought we had a fish on there, but it was just a big lump of bloody weed, man. 
So, you know what? I think I might bugger off and come back tomorrow. Because that's just annoying fishing for me anyway. I'm just going to pull over here and get some street corn produce patch here in Fakatani. Get some sweet corn off the boys. Seven cobs for five dollars. And their sweet corn's very sweet too. Tasty as so we'll pop here, pick up our corn, produce patch, marata. That's where they're at. A few followers out there, not many. The hardy ones. Come on, girl. Snap a frame. And but the water's nice and warm. Right, so just after some kahawai today. A couple of kahawai be nice. Usually I just use bait, but just in case, oh, I have bought a spinner as well, so I don't even have a spin, put a rod out, out there a bit, so it's like a good spot. I also got my hand line too, I might even uh, set it up with a balloon, depends on how many people turn up. I decided to put my other rod out as bait as well. So I've got two rods with bait on it. My hand line's over there ready for a balloon. Oh, that's a low bar there. Yeah, boy. How can a fish see that? How can a fish see the bait or their weed around it? That's why I gave it a couple of days before I came down again just to see if uh, well, their weed had cleared but still there. So it pays to check your line. The water's really warm anyway. That'll do. Right in the spot, my bros. comes oh 
Ozzy fell hook. <laughs> it, yeah. actually, it actually looked bigger than that. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> Oh, you better have another cast. Yeah, but uh, the Mozilla, the double Yeah. Always, always learning and fishing. Everybody has different ways of making their rigs up or, or baiting or the hooks they use. You just use what works for you. And we all sort of have similar ways of of doing it as well. Not a big one, but I'm going to eat it. Good eaters, yeah. There we go. Nice sort of kahoi, well hooked. So they're nice sort of fillets of those things. I thought he was on there. Beautiful. I hope there's row in it. Here we go. Nice fish. There's a fish on there, look. There's a fish on the tail. Yes. There is. Yep. I think there is. Yep. Come on, see it. Come on. Yep, there he comes. And on the wave, same size one, I think, as the other one. Choice. Number two. Oh, I've got to come in first. He's on. Oh yeah. Stay on boy. Here he comes. Here he comes. Yep. Same size as the other one. Very tasty fish these ones. Yeah boy. Sure. Yeah. That'll do. Happy with that man. Choice. Second one. Look at that. Well hooked too. He wasn't going nowhere. Beautiful. Best eating fish, these ones. Nice. Look at that, guys. Nice little kahawai. Get some nice fillets off those things for sure. Right, dispatch him. We're going to put another line out and try again nice car away Size one, two. Yeah. Oh, we're up, man. 
man, that was hard work. Six hours of fishing and two little kahawai to show for it. It was really hard actually. Thinking the incoming tide might make it a bit better, but the fishing's just so inconsistent. Sort of catch them and then it's quiet and then yeah, guys weren't catching very many as much as I thought we would catch. But I had fun though with my mate Merv and his grandson and another guy that I met that watches my videos. So we had a bit of a social day. Oh, how are you guys going? Oh, cheers for the new year. Hope you guys have an awesome year next year, 2019. Man, these years just come around too blooming quick as you get older. Look at this woman, suntan mark. Suntan in it. From wearing these sunglasses here. Look at that. And a lot of that was from today. One. And three. Uh, two. Oh, there goes my rod falling over. So, yeah. Two little medium sized kahoi. So these are actually very good eaters, these. Just might do a photo for my um, my thumbnail. Cheers again. Oh man, oh man. There's old Mike's backyard full of tin table. The old blue drum. Pretty handy these scalers. I got this um, as a present a few years ago. I use it all the time. Pretty handy little thing to have in your in your kit. Anyway, I'm gonna scale these and we'll get back to you guys uh, soon. There's some row in here. Man, I want to feed a row more than one feed of bullets. When dog's full of energy again, have a bit down on the down the beach, and she's been keen to have another another hikoi. Oh, these are males, these ones. The old male row in there. But that's yeah, alright. Tasty ads. But they don't have as much fat as the bigger ones have but on them, but that's alright. There we go. Second fillet, here's the old male melt. I'm going to keep these wings as well. Get off flies. Like last time, they're not bloody invited. That's what you get with summer time, I suppose. And uh, I'm not going to eat these livers this time. Apparently eating too many fish livers is not good for you moderation apparently so uh these are unfortunately I gotta use tap water to wash these uh, nice pair of wings and uh a couple of nice fillets with skin on there you go see for those sort of size fish those are really Tasty as fillets. 
would be the best eating out of all the fish. Right, so there's our four lovely kahawai fillets. Skin on and some wings. That's us tomorrow. Or oh, next year, tomorrow. Right, hello everyone. Happy 2019. Happy you all had an awesome night and didn't get too hurtingy out there. And today you're spending time with your family. 1st of January 2019. Man, it's going to be a good year this year. I can feel it in my bones. Starting with my bad knees. Or bad knee. So this morning, it's actually afternoon now, I'm going to cook up that kahawai that I caught yesterday, a lovely fillets. And all I'm going to do with that is just going to coat it with a bit of my favourite lemon and dill seasoning and then on some flour into the pan with butter and olive oil and a little bit of salt and pepper. That's it. So enjoy this little cook up. Taste test. Mmm. 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 That's delicious. As you guys know, I love my lemon dill. Always have it on my fish. It's medium sized kahawai. 
very sweet. Bit of tarty sauce on top of that skin. Mm, look at that. Mmm, Tinoreka. The skin's a bit crunchy as well. Mmm. That is absolutely delicious, guys. Hope you enjoy this little taste test. Mmm. Yum. Loving it. Mmm. As I finish it off now. Mmm. There you have it. First taste test for the year. Crushed it. Mmm. Yum. See you guys later. Bye. Have a great New Year's Day wherever you are in the world. I'll see you all in the next video.